Yeah, yes. to a spirit. All right. Man, that is a bola there, or he was that man. A this? small but significant change. These five players on ET make it look so broken, though, just as you said. Like, right there, he just almost killed I'm. And yeah. uh, first first off, he TV'd back to the tier three when he almost died up top there. Now he's going to walk home again? Yeah, and he didn't walk home. He used both his tangos instead, trying to survive and come up uh, top, and then... Oh! I mean, we've seen Boots First on a couple supports work really well. Against Elder Titan, that's one that's probably not going to go as well. Because he has boots and then also gets the movement speed from Astral, so you still can't run away from him. Yeah, but there's also, like, could you. I don't even think you could fight him with these two heroes. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, Doom versus Void mid. Topson taking some damage. This would be a lot worse than the, uh, the Kunkka, I would think. Because Doom has a lot of damage over time. Battle up top. They're gonna find a first blood, and they do. No tail takes a tumble, looking for more. They man up, and epileptic kid goes down. One for one, but now they find Seb. Two for one, favoring VP Prodigy as we get a rotation. Yeah, that was good. Flipping it with the three heroes, actually punishing the uh, the hyper aggression required to play that ET in the support role. And DMs a Veno, so no care. No tail looking for a counter kill. Might be able to find one. Needs another punch on Ian and does give him the stapler. Contested. Seb is going to start working this thing down. Topper's mission. Top is missing. Bottom lane again. Going on to DM. Does connect with that venomous gale. Careful. Will be safe this time. Yeah, he's in trouble territory now, though, because he hasn't even gotten a real level edge because of the death. Uh, considering yeah. he's solo. That's always a bad feeling when you're 1v2 and the 1 is equal with the 2 in terms of XP. Up top, we'll see Seb initiated on, getting brought down low. This tri lane has a lot of damage. No tail looking for a counter kill. Might be able to find 1, needs another punch on Ian, and does give him the stapler. No tail micros that courier back. Look at that. A pro player not feeding his courier into a fight at five minutes. Who am I? <laughs> on various heroes. Yep, been there too. Yep. No, oh, Seb, TP's back in. Uplifted Kid was ready and waiting. Up top, he's going to be in big trouble. Stunned up, follow up, silence. Seb going to have no chance to survive. That was that was a, that was a big kill. They do. Really done. <laughs> Now they're really giving it to him. Kill. Mid one is here though, alongside No Tail. Mid one has killed the enemy Grimstroke, getting the pop ups for his Arcana. That's cool. Win the match to harvest his bones. Epileptic. Yeah, well, I don't have this Arcana, so honestly, it's kind of cool to pretend. Epileptic Kid goes down up top, and now it's a four on one, just FN. But he does have the Veno on the way. Seb trying to TP. It won't be enough. They will yeah, still do. get this Doom, though. I think. Yes, they will. They find the Bash, and now Veno. Gonna be in some trouble. DM came up trying to find some counter kills. But he's just gonna end up throwing his body at the problem. Now Save is here. Gets off a stroke. Gets off the uh, Ixwell there, but it's only the Wraith King ulti. Reincarnation bringing him back to life. They do kill Save. One at a time. We're still coming in. Phoenix Whoops. A countered by Ian. That's not the play, but it does cost Ian his life and secures an ultra kill for Thompson. There could be a rampage coming. Epileptic Kid, you need to be careful here, buddy. He's got Thompson a wants it. Oh, don't He's going for it. They're not going to get it. <laughs> Meanwhile, he does find... Oh, now it has to be unbalanced. Yeah, they ruined Puck for us, too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Look at mid one here, dude. He's just clearing out. DM and mid one have uh, some sort of gentleman's agreement here. You just keep spamming play boards. I'll just keep killing them. I mean, it's not worth it. They're 14 gold. I don't know. Well, is this going to set up a big team fight? Because he's coming back. This one's in the fray. They've got the Phoenix Egg on the back line. It is going to go through. The Ember Spirit gives up, but they do bring down mid one. DM and save already on the sideline. It's a bloody fight. A two for two so far. Thompson's here with a chrono, though, so it could turn. He does get a chrono that will secure the kill onto Soxa. But can him and No-Tail clean this up? They're focused on Ian. He's going to go down next. A three for three. Oh, he can't work so An epic battle that will now bring down No-Tail. It's just Thompson. He wants vengeance. Onto FN, another time walk, but he's gonna need a couple of bashes here. Still does not have the Agonims. Stunned up. Thompson in trouble. Needs another bash. No, this time it's an ultra for Epileptic. I think Doom kind of inflates a little gold. Yeah, I think that's fair. Void mid lane, though. Roots into stun. Follow up. Soulbind. Void in big trouble. 
but they can't finish him. There was a poison over there. Seb and Soxa both going to get brought low. Seb may be in trouble. The Veno poison brings him down. An FN fights to kill Soxa. Oh, Soxa, you got so greedy, dude. <laughs> and now no tail. It's going to be one at a time. He's rooted outside of the base. There's no help. The tail's down. He tried to do the diving meteor hammer and finish the channel before just going back to high ground. He died for it. Sorry, mid one and him are now I mean, jostling. OG have still. big problems. I guess I'm just saying if they did manage to catch this chrono and kill Epileptic Kid, it is a huge blow to the power of BP Prodigy. They well, that's a big chrono. Can he find it? He connects on three. Now they need the follow-up damage. Thompson trying to focus down the Venomancer. He's going to be the one to get silenced. They don't find any kills with the chrono, though. Now the Soul Biden comes out, and OG might be in trouble. Thompson getting brought down very low. Seb as well. They will lose three in exchange for... See you later, nerd. Not the fight that OG wanted, and they are going to get wiped up here. A one for five. Better than last time. Does have the ultimate here. It looks like they're trying to finish off Epileptic Kid. Does get hit by an Earth Splitter. That'll bring him down pretty low. This is a big opportunity. There's no doom down here. It doesn't look like he has a TP. The DM trying to top him off. He's in the back line. Drops the Nova. Phoenix has to egg. Save, Save is, is still alive. alive. <laughs> they do find him, but now Big Bad Doom is here. He jumps in, and he's going to clean house. Mid one falls. Soxa goes down. OG dropping like flies. I in hurry. Get the eggs out. Quick. Yes. Courier, fly. I have to goop Effin into the fountain. Go, Courier. Taste this thing. I didn't realize that it was only 150 cast range. Yeah, it's not. I really thought it was much bigger. No, it's tiny. Thompson jumps in, and he is stun locked into oblivion. He's going to have another time walk. Chrono available, but to what avail? Okay, he catches the doom. <laughs> After has been spat out and died. That's oh, kind of cool. Nice. Okay, so you get the freebie on Radiant Siege Creep. And then whatever you spit, it doesn't change the actual spit out mechanics. No. That's all static. Okay. 100 burn DPS. It's a three puddle duration as well. Yeah. And a 1.5 second stun duration. Chrono! FN! Thompson finally getting vengeance! I can't believe he didn't just spit someone into that chrono. I guess he's decided this game's not completely over. I mean, maybe FN should decide that more to be doomed to my golden button. Well, hold on now. Another fight breaking out. No buyback on the doom. Thompson's dead. So it's back to a 4v4. Phoenix A comes down. Soulbind not going to latch onto anything, but mid one. We'll have to utilize the ultimate. OG still has some issues here. Can they take this fight? Fine. Now he's going to be in trouble. He'll go down, but they do lose Soxa. Now a three on three. Mid one a little bit low. Zeb also in trouble. He's going to go down in mid one. No path to escape. No tail comes in. They want epileptic kid. They've got a lot of damage. Mid one sustaining longer than planned. No tail trying to square up, but he's no Mike Tyson. Buster Douglas. I do think it's just a little bit too pricey. For a 200, you think about all the other small items you can buy with that and get like a Yule's, be on your way towards like blinks and stuff. And there's a lot of potential utility there. Yeah. I mean, Greaves, Pipes, it's just... Snapfire has too many good items for this Agnus to be okay. Uh oh OG gonna be in trouble here. They're starting to get sandwiched and a double damage on Doom. Soulbind. Doom Pulse has already come down, but it's not gonna matter. Thompson and No-Tail, dead. Buyback from Thompson. Mid one gonna come back, but he'll die pretty much immediately as he comes back. Epileptic Kid. Find Soxa. That'll stop his TP and... <laughs> Snapfire's got some pretty good taunts. Playing a, playing a fiddle. Ah, the projectile provides 500 radius flying vision as a drone. Chrono. Is this Ember even gonna take damage? No. Goldbine comes down, Seb in trouble, and that will finally be the GG. The dieback for Thompson was what they were waiting for. Pretty brutal game overall. Uh, I mean, they were up a game, so it's fine. It's okay. Well, uh, we are seeing a battle over these runes up top. Mid one gets bashed up, so he won't get the top spawn. And it will go even, however. Two for two. Oh, Aspera. nice. Wait, Epileptic Kid's doing the new build. Have you been catching this one? 
The Let's double see. ring of regen. So this uh, this has oh. been used in, in a, quite a few pubs. I'm seeing this one pop out. Uh, there's a couple heroes that do it. Bounty Hunter support is one that's really funny. You just go double ring of regen and keep uh, stealing people's gold. So do they build into something or do you just sell them and keep the efficiency? From... Uh, I've seen both. I don't know what Epic Kid's going to do. He might go like hood. I can see, right? Oh, so because in 7.27, 7, they reduce the cost of Ring of Regen, but also reduce the regeneration. But it is more of a value item now than it used to be. Yeah. Battle for the runes up top. Mid one does not have a spin up in a couple seconds here, but actually stunned by the Slardar. Here comes the Ink Swell. Spin will keep him safe from this one. The back Bash, up bottom too. There's the heal from No Tail. Oh, okay. He was yeah, being chased by Epi Kid, but. He'll just peel off for the bounty. He'll even deny the other one. That was nice. All right, so three runes come out. And it looks like it will be three for VP Prodigy, actually. And one denied, so kind yeah. of four. There's it. There it is. Never refuse. Third one picked up by FM. So, OG, do not get a single rune there. It's a nice play to deny the rune, though. Like, when you know you're not going to get it. Yeah, I mean, it's like free with the doppelganger anyways. Uh, no tails to soar up himself back up. Tonight. I think this lane gets a lot harder also once Slardar hits level 6. Saves looking for this the big juicy stroke, but did not catch mid one there. Meanwhile, in the mid, having a go on to FN, but he does make it back. They actually, they tombstone for the stack up here. Oh. One of my Thompson actually stops his TP home. That was pretty big. <laughs> FN was trying to do the cheeky TP back, fire remnant with a full bottle, and there was a cold snap there. Did he even have a ward? I don't think so. I I think FN he probably just saw the remnant was too greedy. Yeah, like I, he did it like next to the tower, not in fog. And Jug, radiant structures are fortified. I like this play, going for some early value items, not rushing the battle fury. Mid one trying to be very much involved in these early engagements. Disruptor gonna get caught. Static storm, kinetic field won't be enough. Topson survives, still finds the kill. Now hungry for more, they found save. No hope for survival here, not even a soul bind. Meanwhile, on the other side, now it's DM. Does find a bash, but Omni Slash catches two. Nicely done by mid one. Won't be able to find the kill, despite the double damage rune. But still a great Omni. This middle tower is under attack. And uh, it's like No Tail wants to. Oh, nice. Thompson sets it up, save very low, goes down to Soxa, but now maybe the counterplay, Thompson does uh, pay with his own life. They have a glimpse here too. And Slardar chasing down, OG gonna get punished hard, Soxa should fall. Seb pulled back in, Tombstone does come down, mid one's here, Omni Slash starts bouncing. No Battle Fury yet though, so not that much damage, does set up the kill on the DM though. Maybe uh, not the uh, the glimpse they wanted. Apparently not. It did look good though. He I didn't have mana for kinetic. It. That was the the main problem. So much at that. The battle to save the tombstone against PL. It's a tough one. Yeah, it was pretty aggressive to, to drop it there, but it's actually kind of working. Like between the soul rips. It does finally fall, about to expire anyway. Meanwhile, mid one just chewing into this ranged barracks. Not the melee, I'm oh, sorry, he gets the melee barracks. Now the fight breaks out though. Soulbind comes, static storm, kinetic field, the jug. Can't get off the ult, still down for a few seconds. That's the Aegis. And Boker did fall on the back line. Doom does come down as Seth pops the BKB. Omni Slash on the DM, he'll fall. A two for two, a buyback now on the Slardar. This might not be a fight that OG can take. Epileptic Kid, repelled by the Jug. He's actually pretty darn low, but does Doppelganger forward. That was a bold maneuver, and now he'll get brought down, punished by the Jug. They do get Seb for it, and now he buys back. Still a 3v3 on the field. He's not sure. The Shiva sounds pretty good. Extra armor against all this minus armor. Not that Radiance is bad, but... Save now. He's going to get caught. Radiance dead. Middle tower Just under dead. Uh, too bad they couldn't glimpse and force the BKB on Seppo. Uh, 
Radiant's middle tower has fallen. He's on top. That They're pass gonna find range. One. This is a big kill. They dropped the Doom, and it's well worth it if they can find the kill. And I think they should. Glimpse. Gonna help buy him some time, but Blade Fury there for a little bit extra. Mid one. Gets the kill. Now the real fight breaks out. Smart in the middle of the fray. He's gonna get popped. Static Storm kinetic feel. Not bad, but also not gonna set up a hell of a lot. Epileptic Kid is here. Buyback on the Ember, not one available for the Slardar. He's focused on Seb right now. Seb in a lot of trouble, gets stunned up and brought down. Now looking for more of this PL deep in the back line, but mid one still Omni caught up to him. Omni Slash gets used and the PL's dead. Now buyback on the PL, a very costly fight for Virtus Pro Prodigy. But OG, they don't want to fight this PL a second time, and they will retreat. They know that the Aegis is coming up soon. They've got to win that fight. Oh, they get the double damage, though. They want to go back in. Mid one, let it ripen a little bit. Now he's up on Epileptic Kid. There's no doppelganger, and this PL's in big trouble. Manta style gives him the reset. Like the instant buyback on the Ember, but FN didn't have a TG, so he had to walk back to that fight. By the time he gets there, it actually looked like a, a decent position with how Epileptic Kid was starting to get into the back lines, and then the auto slash shred him. He's just cutting waves. Yeah, well, he was like standing there AFK for a second, though. Was he just building Inkswell? I, I guess so, yeah. Or deciding if it's over. Maybe decide if it was over. Uh, he looked pretty AFK to me, but either way, congratulations to OG 